what will happen to solid materials when mixed with other solid materials? Ano ang mangyayari sa mga solid materials kapag na-mix o hinalo sila sa iba pang solid materials? Let's have an activity. Let's try mixing solid materials with solid materials. Then observe what will happen. Ipaghalo natin ang mga sumusunod na solid materials sa kapwa solid materials. Tignan natin kung ano ang mangyayari. Maaari din ninyo itong gawin sa inyong bahay, humingi lang ng tulong kay nanay o tatay. Number one, sand o buhangin and pebbles or maliliit na bato. Pansin ninyo yung kinalabasan ng mixture. Number two, rice grains, butil ng bigas, and corn grits, butil ng mais. Pansin ninyo yung kinalabasan ng mixture. Number three, coffee powder, kape, and creamer, yung coffee mate o yung gatas na nilalagay sa coffee. Pansin ninyo yung kinalabasan ng mixture. Number four, white sugar, asukal, and iodized salt, asin. Pansin ninyo yung kinalabasan ng mixture. Number five, baby powder, pulbos, and flour, harina. Pansin ninyo yung kinalabasan ng mixture. Let's have a question and answer. Pwede nyong isulat yung sagot nyo sa scratch paper na hawak nyo. I-ready nyo na yung inyong panulat para habang nagtatanong si sir, pwede nyong isulat sa scratch paper yung inyong mga sagot. Number one, which pair of materials can still be distinguished from their original paste after mixing or combining them? Aling mixture ang makikilala mo pa kahit pinaghalo na sila? The answer is sand and pebbles, rice grains and corn grits, coffee and creamer. Number two, which pair of materials cannot be distinguished from the original paste after mixing or combining them? Aling mixture ang hindi mo na makilala? The answer is white sugar and iodized salt baby powder and flour. Number three, is there a change in the property of each solid materials in the mixture? May nag-change or may nagbago ba sa property ng bawat solid material? The answer is none. Wala. Points to remember, when two or more materials are combined, a mixture is formed. Kapag pinagsama mo ang dalawa o higit pang materials, makakabuo ka ng mixture. When the solid materials is mixed with other solid materials, each of the combined or mixed materials can be easily identified or distinguished from each other. O kapag madaling makilala ang mga materials sa mixture, ang tawag dito ay heterogeneous mixture. Some solid materials, when mixed with other solid materials, cannot be distinguished from each other. If the resulting mixture mixed completely and look the same o kapag pareho ang naging itsura ng mixture, ang tawag naman doon ay homogeneous mixture. The properties of each solid materials in the mixture do not change, hindi nagbago. The size, shape, color of each solid material should remain the same even after mixing.
In this lesson, we will describe what happens to solid materials when mixed with other liquid materials. Ilalarawan natin ang mga maaaring mangyari sa solid materials kapag hinalo sa liquid materials. Okay, let's have an activity. Let's try mixing solid materials with liquid materials. Then observe what will happen. Ipaghalo natin ang mga sumusunod na solid materials sa liquid materials. Tignan natin kung ano ang mangyayari. Maaari din ninyo itong gawin sa inyong bahay. Kumingi lang ng tulong kay nanay o tatay. Here are the observations from our activity. The salt dissolved in water. Natunaw ang asin sa tubig. Sugar or yung asukal can also dissolve in water. The powdered milk was completely mixed with the water. Humalo ang gatas sa water. Coffee ay isa pang example that can also completely mixed with water. The mango seeds do not dissolve. Hindi siya natunaw and settled at the bottom of the water na natili lang sa ilalim ng water ang bongo seeds. Here are some key points from our lesson. Solid materials can be mixed or combined with other liquid materials. Some solid materials completely dissolve natutunaw in liquid materials but others do not. Some solid materials settled at the bottom of the container na pupunta sa ilalim ng lagayan while others stay within the liquid. Some liquid materials spread out evenly in the water, humahalo sa liquid materials but some do not. When mixed with liquid, some solid materials change their size, shape, and color but some do not. So this is our lesson for today. I hope nakatulong ang video na ito para masagutan nyo ng maayos ang inyong module. Have a great day everyone! Bye!